Now that kids are starting to go back to school, what should parents know about checking their children's vision? In this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Jennifer Dang will be discussing the importance of in-school vision screening and comprehensive annual eye exams for adolescents. Dr. Dang? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to OcuTalk. Today we're going to be uh, talking with a returning guest, uh, but before we get to that, I'd like to remind everybody to like and subscribe this video. Again, today we're going to be talking to a returning guest uh, who is uh, Dr. Jennifer Dang, who is a doctor of optometry out of Los Angeles, California. Dr. Dang, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me again. Well, let's take a second here. As I said, uh, you, you've been a friend of the show for a while now, but let's uh, let's take a minute to to remind people of, of yourself, your practice, and your history. Um, I am Jennifer Dang. I'm an optometrist from Los Angeles, California. I went to the Southern California College of Optometry. Um, I did a residency in ocular disease at the VA hospital in Las Vegas. Since then, I've worked at various practice settings, but I currently have my own private bubbles practice in an optical right now. Very cool, very cool. Well, it, it is good to see you again. So I think uh, something that's top of mind for everybody right now, we got a lot of uh, children going back to school and uh, the topic we wanted to touch on today was vision screenings, as that's something a lot of children are gonna be uh, experiencing right now. So can you talk a little bit about what these vision screenings are? Uh, what, what exactly does that mean? And, and what relevance does it have to kids going back to school? Uh, vision screenings are great. They are tools to help catch any undiagnosed um, health or vision issues seen in the kids. They're usually performed in either the pediatrician's office or sometimes at school by the school nurse. Um, they're a great screening tool to kind of detect if there's something wrong with the vision in children, but it, it's a fast, quick exam, you know, it's a great way to go through lots of kids <laughs> of time and catch anything that they miss. So what exactly does this vision screening entail uh, in terms of what are they doing at, at, uh, at the nurse's office here in the schools? Yeah, they typically um, do a basic vision check, have the kids read the letters on the chart. They'll check the eye alignment using a cover test. They will sometimes do 3D vision. Sometimes they can do color vision and they'll check the pupils. And if something is detected as abnormal, then they'll make a referral to the local optometrist to perform a comprehensive exam and get the child the care that they need. So this sounds like sort of a, a preliminary test. So what, what is it exactly that they're looking for uh, in these tests? So you know, what's, what's, the, what's the, the end goal here? Yeah, they want to check and see if the child can see. Um, normal, they'll let the kid go. Abnormal, they'll make the referral. So the cutoff point usually is about 2030. They want 2030 vision or better in each eye. Or if, um, and failing on the other hand, is when it's worse than 2030 or if there's a big difference between the two eyes. So if they can tell that there's a problem with one eye and one eye seeing well, that's a sign that there could be a problem. Um, they'll look for any eye alignment issues, make sure the eyes are seeing straight, um, basic things like that that you can check really quickly. I think it's important to touch on this too because I, I have kids myself and uh, mm -hmm. when my son first started going to school that uh, there was a lot of concern about behavioral problems with them and that uh, and, and I know for myself when I was a kid I had similar issues that uh, sometimes some of these behavioral issues are con confused in his case, he just had a, a, a vision problem, actually a quite, quite substantial vision problem. Uh, is that something that, that, that you see? Uh, I mean, how often do people have eye problems as, as children? Um, a lot of times you can find issues in children that are not complaining because they don't know what is normal. So it's very important to the parents to be cognizant of how their child is behaving. Teachers can tell if the child is squinting in class. A lot of things can be picked up by watching closely, but it's hard to pick up because the child's not going to complain. They don't know anything else besides what they see. So um, it's important for all of us to kind of pay attention to the kids. And sometimes these screenings can pick up 
issues like that, sometimes they'll go, they'll pass through the vision screening. So that's why it's important to get a full eye exam with your eye you know, doctor. I, I like what you said there. And maybe that's something that mm -hmm. we don't always think about that, you know, you're born with poor vision and it's not really something you discuss. So you don't know any difference. You think maybe that's the way everybody sees. Yes. Like kids, especially they, they have only been alive, you know, <laughs> like five to 10 years, they don't know what like abnormal is so they're used to either seeing blurry they're used to maybe they have color vision issues maybe they um, have double vision but that's their normal so we have to kind of be on the lookout and help these kids and kind of try to pick out these issues if we see them early you know and help them get the proper care well and something i think you touched on earlier and, and i think it's important to denote that when we're talking about mm -hmm. these uh, tests that are going on at the nurse's office these are screening tests right they're they're not mm -hmm. necessarily diagnosing things but these are screening tests so what's the difference between what they're doing and what you would do in, a, in an optometry practice yeah for sure um what we are doing in a comprehensive eye exam we can give you the exact prescription of your eyes so that you can get glasses right after we also look for any health issues in the eye and in the back of the eye. We use special drops called dilating drops to open up the pupils so that we can see inside the eye, check anything, check the health, check the retina, um, and make sure we don't miss any ocular diseases. The vision screening, on the other hand, it's a great tool in a, in a why, like when you have a lot of kids and you gotta go through them fast, you gotta pick up, you know, who's not seeing well, who has an eye turn, who is missing the color, uh, the color chart, you know, things like that. We can, you can check really quickly, but you can also miss little things and they're not seeing the back of the eye. They, you can't diagnose issues and you can't give a prescription to get glasses. So it's just checking for if you're relative, if you're normal or if you're not normal, but you know, it's, it's a, it's, there's still little things that we can catch on an eye exam that can easily pass through on a vision screening as normal. So that's why it's really important to still see your eye doctor, even if you're getting screened at school. Yeah, let's touch on that for a second too, um, mm -hmm. because I, I know, you know, maybe some parents, and again, like we just said a second ago, it may not be something you think about because it's not something that the kids may necessarily be complaining about, but would it mm -hmm. be your recommendation that, that parents wait for this screening to come up bad, or would it be your recommendation that they're regularly visiting their eye doctor uh, even outside of this? Yeah, um, the American Optometric Association has a recommendation for children. Um, the first eye exam should be at six months old. So that's the infant eye exam. Um, second exam should be at age three. And then starting right before first grade, you should start annual eye exams right before school. So that's like going to catch, uh, you know, any problem as your child is growing. And, well, and, and I think that's important to touch on. And I can speak from my own experience with my son that that his uh, prescription has changed. Right. Uh, so it wasn't the same glasses, uh, although I'll tell you, I don't have as much a problem with him because he, he breaks his every other week. But uh, <laughs> but uh, it, he has changed o over time. And so if, if I were just giving him the same glasses, I would potentially uh, at best not be helping the problem at worst, potentially making it uh, worse. Yeah. And again, like kids don't complain. They don't know that they're blurry. You know, they don't know their glasses aren't working. So that's why we have to keep on it for those annual exams through grade school. And after this past year with all the online learning, there's been, you know, especially changes with the kids prescriptions after all the screen time and less outdoor time. So we have, especially after this, a year like this, you know, um, we need to make sure that our kids are seeing well so that they can learn well. Well, let me ask you a question, and this is specifically directed to, to some of our uh, doctor viewers out there. Is it different giving uh, an eye exam to younger patients? And is there any advice you can give that, that might make it easier? Oh, for sure. It's uh, prepare yourself. Um, when you're examining kids, um, you want to move fast, first of all. You want to move really fast. You have to make every test a game because your limiting factor for that eye exam is the child's attention span. So as much as you can get done in that time, that's what you're gonna get done. Um, I also recommend having toys and like really interesting near targets. Um, you can even make your own with like a popsicle stick and a sticker, you know, just so something you can keep their attention. 
Um, also, I like to wear dark scrubs because you don't know which position you're gonna be in. You might be on the ground, you might be crawling, you might, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna be kicked. You know, there's a lot of things going on. So dark clothing is a little bit better to hide like the little like feet stains. And then um, dilating drops, it's tough, but you can even just put the dilating drops on closed eyes. Like just have them tilt back, put it on closed eyes. They're gonna blink at some point, it'll drip in. And then that's usually the easiest way that I find to get the dilating drops in. Um, also take off your white coat. You don't want to scare them. So, you know, just be another person, you know, and make it fun. Just try to have fun with them. And I like to have stickers as like little prizes. They don't take up much space in the exam room and kids love stickers. So you can reward them after they do a good job in the exam. Well, I can certainly vouch for the uh, eye drop uh, a, a trick. I, I know we've discussed this on the channel numerous times, but I have trouble putting eye drops in. Yeah. I have to sneak them in from the side. <laughs> Yeah, we'll all find our own methods, but, you know, when you have a screaming kid, you just got to go and make it work. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, so is there any additional advice that, that you want to give uh, specifically related to eye screenings or just in general with parents, uh, with kids going back to school? I know you touched on uh, screen time earlier, and I think that's something mm -hmm. uh, important for everybody to know. Yeah, I think everyone, kids and adults, should get regular eye exams, even if your vision's great. You know, you don't know what you don't know, basically. So we're here to look in the back of your eye. We're here to find out if you have any prescriptions. Um, but uh, everyone needs eye exams, but it's especially important in young kids because 80% of what kids learn is through vision. So if they don't see well, it's going to affect their learning at school. So it's really important. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Well, I think that that is that is great advice. Mm -hmm. As I said, it's something I've experienced myself that uh, there has been a marked improvement in, in my son's uh, behavior in class and in grades since he got glasses. And, and like you said, uh -huh. uh, probably a good portion of that is like, you know, there's no point <laughs> looking at the board if I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, if anyone has any questions, you can find me on Instagram at Dr. Jen Dang. Um, I'm happy to talk or chat with anyone. So, yeah. It's fine. Perfect. Well, very good. Well, <laughs> Dr. Dang, thank you so much for being with us. It's always a pleasure to have you, and uh, we'll look forward to having you back in the future. Thanks for having me. Do you have an idea for a topic we should cover on AccuTalk? Let us know in the comments below.